Did I hit you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Who may ascend the mount of Yahweh? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false. He will receive blessing from Yahweh and vindication from the Elohim, his Savior.
I was glad when they said to me, come, come to the house of the Lord, Yahweh, standing here in your gates again, come to Jerusalem, come on, I was glad when they said to me, to the house of Yahweh, yeah, standing here in your gates again. Up to Jerusalem, up to Jerusalem, up to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, peace, Adonai, Shalom. Blessing be yours, Yah's peace within your walls. Glad when they said to me, Come to the house of Yahweh. Yes, standing here in your gates again, up to Jerusalem. Oh, I was glad when they said to me, Come to the house of Yahweh. Yes, standing here in your gates again. Up to Jerusalem, up to Jerusalem, up to Jerusalem. City of praise, where the tribe shall follow. We lift our voice to the Yah of Israel. I was glad when they said to me, Come to the house of the Lord. Destroyed your enemies. 
it easy for you since your hands would be full so let us stand and let's close out hey there's earth I didn't see you coming the uh, let's close out Sukkot and let's open the gates to Simcha Torah can we do that beginning with the 15th day of the seventh month after you have gathered the crops of the land, celebrate the festival to Yahweh for seven days. We've done that, haven't we? The first day is a day of Sabbath rest. And the eighth day also is a day of Sabbath rest. That's Simcha Torah. Says Leviticus 23, 39.
be and blessed be his name. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us in your word and given us Yeshua, our Messiah, and commanded us to be a light into the world and commanded us to kindle the festival lights. As I light our festival lights in order to sanctify this special gift of Simchat Torah for our family, may all of us be reminded that it is the light of Messiah that shines in us and in our homes. I spread the light of these festival lights with my hands throughout our fellowship to express my desire as mother of the congregation that the light of Messiah Yeshua and the joy of his Simchat Torah be spread throughout this place. Blessed is he and blessed be his name. Blessed is he and blessed be his name. Blessed is he and blessed be his name. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by your commandments and commanded us to be a light unto the nations by giving us Yeshua, our Messiah, the light of the world. Amen. Amen. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting of my hands be like the evening sacrifices. Amen. On the first day, you shall take the product of hadar's trees, or citrus trees, branches of palm trees, boughs of leafy trees, or myrtles, and willows of the brook. And you shall rejoice before Yahweh your Elohim seven days, says Leviticus 23 and 40. So we're going to wave the lulav one last time. You ready? Blessed are... Does everybody got theirs? There's one right there, huh? one right there there's one. blessed are you Yahweh our Elohim king of the universe who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us concerning the waving of the lulav he is Yahweh in the east he is Yahweh in the west. He is Yahweh in the north. He is Yahweh in the south. He is Yahweh up above. He is Yahweh down below. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Now, we started this last year. I thought I'd do it again. Oh, give thanks to Yahweh for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. We'll start in the east. Hodu. Stand up straight. Le Yahweh. Then we go to the south. Ki. Then we go to the north. Or To. To. And then we go to the west. Ki did it backwards. Yes. Then we go, we'll go up to the above, Leolam, and down below, Hasdo. Amen. You just said it in Hebrew. Wasn't that awesome? Now, we've got a tradition here that sometimes we've gone through this whole time of introspection. We've gone to Yom Kippur, and we've been waving the lulavs, but sometimes things just hang on us, don't they? And we just can't seem to shake them. So I want you to take out your willow. 
So pull out your willow. That's the skinny leafy one. All right. Do you got it out? Now we're going to go outside. Now what I want you to do, as you go outside, I want you to find a place. You can do it against the, um, uh, the building. But I want you to beat the willow till there's not one leaf on it. And as you do this, I want you to say, Father, those things that beset me that I'm having a hard time with, and you know what they are. Nobody else needs to know what they are, but you know what they are. And as I strip this willow, I want you to strip those things from me, those habits, those lingering doubts and fears, those iniquities, whatever is bothering you and keeping you from walking a successful Torah walk with Yahweh, I want you to get rid of it tonight. So let's beat that against the wall, can we? So let's all go outside. Don't beat it on somebody else, Regina. Okay. But you can't beat it on anybody else. That don't work. You have to beat it on something inanimate. Tony. You was thinking, wasn't you? He said, man, I was going to get rid of this on somebody. Man, man. You're the problem bothering me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, you're already. A, he's already half delivered. Look at him. Okay, are we ready? One, two, three. Beat it! Beat it! <laughs> well, that's all right. Anyway, you can get rid of it. Remember that one year they didn't, it was a real wet time and they didn't, they didn't dry out, you know? Yeah, they'll scrape your hand up. Man, mine ain't coming off. How about yours, Tim? <laughs> oh, man, we're in trouble. And that thing came out. <laughs> okay, are we? It's always something. Okay. Are you? Did, you didn't hurt yourself, did you? No. Uh, bless your heart. Okay, if you've gotten free. Now there's only one thing left to do. Is we got to be cleansed. Would you get that for me, please? Seven times. Just clip it back on me. Okay, what you're gonna do is we're gonna sing. We're gonna sing it. This is the day, and you're gonna go around the tree. And uh, as you come past me, I'm gonna sprinkle you with clean water. And you shall be cleansed. I know, yeah. Well, this is the day, this is the day that Yahweh has made, that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad.
getting in. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. That Yahweh has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. That Yahweh has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. That Yahweh has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. Yeshua is the way. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. That Yahweh has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in him and be glad in him. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeshua is the way. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. Yeshua is the way. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. That Yahweh has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeshua is the way, Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. This is the day, this is the day that Yahweh has made. That Yahweh has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. And be glad in it. And be glad in it. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad in him. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. This is the day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. That Yahweh has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeshua is the way. Yeshua is the way that Yahweh has made yay here robert you can give me a sprinkle um, <laughs> don't dump that whole thing on me <laughs> he, oh there you go oh man he did he, gra he grabbed that thing though i thought he was going to dump it on my head <laughs> oh man Whew. Isn't it a wonderful day? I mean, we. Ah, the day. Ah, man. Now we are officially ended with Sukkot, and it is Simkatorah. Look to your neighbor and say, "It is Simkatorah." The rejoicing of the Torah. In the beginning was the Word. Amen. Baruch atah Yahweh elachinu melech ha'olam shehigiyanu vehigimanu vehigiyanu lazman hazeh. 
which means, Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has preserved us alive, sustained us, and brought us to this season, who in giving us Yeshua, the living Torah, has planted everlasting life in our midst. But it's still a choice. You've got to embrace him and embrace the kingdom. Blessed are you, Yahweh, giver of the Torah. Amen. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to call on ones to stand and come to the Bema and read. Let's, before we do that, we're going to do the Kaddush. Does everyone have one now? Lift your glasses. Baruch Atah Yahweh, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Pri, Hagafan, Amen. Which means, blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Amen. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has chosen us from among all nations and has sanctified us by the blood of Yeshua. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by his commandments and has commanded us to wash our hands. Amen. Donna, would you tell us the special meaning of the bread tonight? Amen. Ah. Amen. 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 You already salted it, didn't you? You already salted it, didn't you? Yes, he did. I thought I saw you. So let's all say the blessing. Baruch Atah Yahweh, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, HaMotzi Lechem in Aretz. Amen. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, 
who resurrects the bread from the earth. Amen. Yep, that's all right. Mmm, it's good. Not that I was surprised. Right. It's a dessert. No, no. It's all good today. It's all the right kind. Mm hmm. You're going to like this bread. That's very nutty. Very good. Mm-hmm. 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 It's good, yeah. She always leaves us and goes to bake that bread. I would eat mine. I've got two copies of the sermon. Who didn't get one this morning? You didn't get one? You did you get one, Ed? I get one for you. I, I think I I think I've got one more in here that I was No, I got one more in here, I think. My my printer wasn't doing the best, but I ha so I was making copies trying to get my printer to act. But you can read it, so I'll just get okay. Um, but my copy's not good. Your copy's the only one. That's Anybody else? Does anybody else need a copy? Brother Robert, I think nobody needs a copy. I think we're okay. Huh? Well, that's the best copy we got right now. You got a good copy. The other one. I know. Bless your heart. Help her, somebody. All righty. Now is the Torah celebration. We celebrate this night as the ending of another cycle in the year of religious festivities and the beginning of another which one day will lead us into the realm of the new heaven and the new earth when the prophetic timetable will be complete and we rejoice for all eternity in the goodness and the mercy of our Elohim and his awesome plan of salvation which is revealed in his word, the Torah. This day marks the end of another cycle of the three and a half year cycle of Torah reading for the year. Brother Ed, would you be the first reader, please? This is the what this is a prayer made up of several scripture verses called the Ata Harieta. Oh, I'm sorry, here you go. Mm hmm On the first reader. To you it was shown that you might know that Yahweh himself is Elohim. There is none other beside him. Deuteronomy Amen. four. 35. Amen. 
Geraldine, would you be reader number two? Who is like unto you, Yahweh, among the mighty ones, glorious in holiness, awesome in praises, doing wonders? Blessed are you, Yahweh. Amen. Tony, would you be the third reader? For Yahweh is the great Elohim and the great king above all Elohim. Psalms 95 and 3. Amen. And buddy, would you be the fourth reader? Great is Yahweh and greatly to be praised in the city of our Elohim. In his holy mountain, Psalms 48.2. Amen. Brother Timothy, would you read the last one? Oh, no, it's the fifth reader. Yeah. You're the fifth reader. Go ahead. Hello. Elohim has gone out with a shout. Yahweh, with the sound of a shofar. Sing praises to El. Sing praises. King. Sing. For Elohim is all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. To Halim, forty-seven, five through seven. Okay, Eartha, would you be the next reader, please? <coughs> and all the house of Israel brought up the harp of Yahweh with shouting and with the sound of the shofar. Second Samuel sixteen fifteen. Amen. And Regina, would you be the last and the seventh reader tonight? For out of Zion shall go forth the Torah and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Isaiah 2, 3. Amen. Let's all stand for the ironic blessing. Ivarekaka Yahweh Ishmareka Yair Yahweh Penavleka Vihuneka Isa Yahweh, Panav Lekha, Vayasim Lekha, Shalom. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach, Sar Shalom, Amen. Which means, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of the Prince of Peace. Yeshua the Messiah, and we all say, Amen. Let's dance. Brother Steve, would you help me, please? Hand out some of the Taurus, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's going to help me lift it up? You want to help me lift it out? Okay. Come on, this side.
<laughs> no, that. Uh, okay. And the other Taurus grow here. Amen. Um. Amen. All together. Arise, O Yahweh, to your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Your priests will be clothed in righteousness. Your saints will shout aloud for joy. Amen. Amen. So, you've celebrated the Torah. You're in good company. Look what it says on the wall. The first that said that he would keep Yahweh's Torah was Abraham. Can you read that underneath what it says? Amen. And then the next one was who? Moshe. And what did it say of him? Amen. And the next one? David. And what does it say of David? I keep your Torah continually. Forever and ever. Amen. And then came Yeshua. And what does it say of Yeshua? I came not to destroy Torah, but to fulfill it. Amen. And then, what was next? Yaakov. And what does it say of Yaakov? Speak and act as those who obey the Torah of liberty. Amen. And the last was Shaul. And what's it say? We establish Torah through faith. Amen. Amen. So we're in good company as Torah keepers. Amen. Amen. Well, that ends our celebration of Skimka Torah, but it goes on till tomorrow at sundown. So don't let anyone steal your joy. You're living the Torah of liberty. And there is joy in his word. Amen. What, excuse me? Uh huh. Amen. Yes, joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. Oh, the half has. First of all, I want to say, um, every year, Sister Marie puts together the scriptural trivia, and she gets all these questions together, she picks out all the presents, she buys the presents, and uh, the refreshments, and, and puts on a great uh, evening of fun and fellowship, and the enemy tried to steal our joy the other night, but it didn't. He di wasn't able to do that, and we had a great time. We, had, we learned a lot out of his word, and that was what's, that's what's awesome. You're a little bit light on the book of Judges, but anyway. <laughs> that we are, Rabbi. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have to study that book of Judges, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. Amen. So Sister Marie's going to come forward. That's all right. Uh, if we don't have one, we'll get you one in the coming days. We had fun. Uh, let me call Tony forward. He was uh, number one. Oh, man. 
Howdy! Thank you, man. Number two was Donna. 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 You're going to have to forgive me. Just act like your name is on here. Okay. Donna. Thank you so much. <laughs> Give her a hand. Oh, me. Okay. Number three was Rabbi. Rabbi. Just watch my name sit down there. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> okay. But only... T uh, Okay, Geraldine. Geraldine. I did have her. Yay! Let me out. Yay! Marlene. Yay! I think where I got confused, I was trying to put them in order. Of oh, okay. Uh, Mary. This one was Roy. Regina. Yay! By yours is it? <laughs> oh, me. And we had us uh, three ties for number five, and uh, this was yeah. yeah. So we'll keep his. All right. Thank you, everybody, for taking part in it. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, That's it. Thanks, Sister Marie. I will try to come up with uh, one that maybe is easier next year. <laughs> <laughs> you got a remedial one. Oh, man, thank you. Did we have fun Friday night? I thought it was awesome. And it really does. Uh, it, it is mental calisthenics, and it causes us to know our scriptures, doesn't it? And remember names and things. So I really enjoy getting to, uh, to play. And I thank Brother Robert for refreshments. He did a great job. And we thank him. And I want to thank Steve. Steve has been chronicling uh, the Sukkot with his camera. So we thank Steve. He's got some fabulous pictures. Oh, the, the yeah, he brought one, the movies. Everyone that brought movies and let us uh, use them this week, thank you for bringing those. Amen. And the popcorn, yeah. Brother Tony. Yay! So. There you go. Yeah, she she bought, battled that flu. So. Yeah, he was he was camping with the U.S. Army. <laughs> yeah, Regina was there, keeping up us all night and singing. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> what, hun? Okay, Ema wants to make sure that everybody knows we're going to put the Zadokah box out so that you can make your uh, Simcha Torah uh, Sukkot um, offering. So if you'd like to write out those checks, uh, put those zeros in there. Make sure you put enough zeros and <laughs> for, the, for the offering. We'll give you a little time to do that. And do uh, you have the box, Ema? Okay. Y'all just come forward and make your offering. There's a box right here. Oh yeah. They're in that uh hey. They're in that one in the in the yeah, next one.
Here we go. What has Sukkot meant to you this year? Well, Sukkot was a little difficult for me this year because I wasn't able to stay out um, the way that I normally would like to. Um, so it was a challenge, and, and I just stayed in my, my studies all week long and um, tried to focus on my ministry to this branch of Yahweh's people. So we're to expect some great things from your studies. That's awesome. I mean, I mean, who do you want to pass it off to? <laughs> Brother Steve, what has Sukkot meant to you? Well, this was the uh, 11th Sukkot that I've celebrated with Covenant Fellowship, Agadat Bris. And it's the, uh, the ninth one that I've been out at the, at the lake. Uh, it would have been 10, but I was out traveling around last year. Uh, <laughs> no place very long. No one place very long. Um, and over the years, I have seen an increase in attendance and enthusiasm from the people in this congregation to celebrate Sukkot, to go out of their way, get a campsite, and join the rest of us. And it, it, the more people we have out there, the more fun that we have. Now, it's, it's still, you know, we still have to go to work, and we still have to make concessions for that. So, you know, that's why I'm, I'm getting up at 4.30 in the morning and leaving. Hopefully I'm not waking anybody up when I'm driving by you. But that being said, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, even though I was sick most of this week too. I don't know. It's very, very strange. I don't usually get sick. Anyway. Uh, I think that uh, the participation that we had this year was amazing, and I, I'm really thrilled by it. Brother Buddy, you're brand new. What did you think about Sukkot? You came out and visited us. Well, let me just say that since I've been here, the uh, Holy Spirit has really filled me, uh, just like this morning, uh, it was just a real overflowing of his presence, and I know I'm in the right place, and I know I'm with the right people, and you are my people, and uh, Yahweh is my God, and I just know that great things are going to happen uh, as I continue to surrender to Yahweh and follow his pattern. Uh, I thought I've known what he was all about. Now I know, and uh, it's amazing when you understand the uh, prophet uh, are the chosen people and um, Yahweh says throw down your rod and you throw it down and it becomes his and uh, I feel that I'm totally his now and I was impressed and I appreciate your prayers and support and look forward to it Amen. Amen. Brother Robert what is the Sukkot meant to you? In the beginning I told the rabbi, I'm going to get me one of those good campers and get out there and have a good time. <laughs> and he said, no, no, I can't do that. <laughs> but we've gone through several tents. But, but I think it's uh, the mentality of the, of the father. It's, uh, we, should, we, we should remember. You know, we, we're too soon to forget. And I think that... Uh, that he put in the, the Torah that we should do this mm -hmm. it is to make us remember and yeah. remember what the our ancestors, the people of Israel, did, and how they sacrificed, <coughs> how they were in bondage, how they wandered in the wilderness for forty years, and it would have probably been fifty years if those old gizzards hadn't have died, <laughs> <laughs> but. Or they might still be wondering, <laughs> but we've we've been wondering, and but I think we've kind of found home base now, and and we appreciated the rabbi acknowledging all of ties and offerings that's been coming in, that and how how you've been supporting this fellowship, and I, I get to do the deposits, and I 
and I really appreciate you too. And it's been a very happy time. It's, 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 I'm a little tired tonight, but uh, tomorrow I'll be a tiger. <laughs> Sister Bree? Well, it's uh, it's really meant a lot to me this year because I was really afraid I wasn't going to make it. And the rabbi told me, well, you know, just go home. And I said, no, I'm not going to let anything keep me away from sick hope. But it was a struggle. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a struggle, but I, I started thinking about Moses and, and what a struggle it was for the people back then. And I thought, well, you know, what's a little throw-up virus, you know? <laughs> what's a little, you know? No, it didn't. And uh, I love everyone here and... I enjoyed our fellowship out there, and I just hated that I couldn't get there sooner every night. I mean, I just all day long I thought about it. got to get there before the sun goes down. But unfortunately, uh, traffic was bad, and some nights I couldn't get out there until eight o'clock to be with everyone. But uh, I thought we had a wonderful Sukkot this year, and thank you. Amen. Amen. Get Malau. What has it meant to you? It means a lot to me. Hi. I was really happy um, this year uh, about the Sukkot, and I enjoyed it very well. I enjoyed the spirit of the, uh, you know, of, um, dwelling in the tent of Yahweh. And um, I, I appreciate the, the company, the people. They were very loving people and so very passionate. And I enjoyed the, uh, the sharing with everybody. And... Uh, it was very uplifting, and I, I like, look forward to do it again next year. Amen. 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 Well, who wants to help speak? Okay, Regina. <laughs> Bless her heart. She has to hog that microphone. <laughs> well, for me, this was my second um, year to you know, be a part of Sukkot, and it's it was really it was really a blessing for me <laughs> to be with everyone and and get to know everybody and, and spend time, and I just feel. Loved by all of you, and I really appreciate that. And I look forward to next year. I was just glad to be alive. <laughs> I, I didn't get hung or nothing. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, truly is a blessing to, and we just enjoyed ourselves with all of you guys, and I think it all will be expressed uh, in that manner. I think all of you are unique in a special way, and that's what really uh, puts it all together. I think when you was talking about the ingredients and uh, uh, and I was thinking about what you had said and how you had blended those ingredients a- together. And I think about your code, how all of us blended, each of you had was something special. And once you blended it all together, when we uh, ate of one another's love, one another's tenderness, one another's kindness, uh, it was real good. Just like that bread, it was still warm. And so it's just a blessing to uh, be at uh, 
I had a chance to go out, and we slept, and I think we had to leave early as well. We left around 4 or so in the morning, and uh, it just was a joy, even for my, uh, you all don't know, it was a time that uh, my wife wouldn't even just, just go out on, on the back porch, not long, <laughs> getting in the tent. So uh, truly, that was a, a blessing, you know. And I think one of the things that really stuck with me was uh, just the other night and we, that the wind was blowing real hard. And uh, I was uh, telling Yahweh, I am so grateful just to have a home. You know, there wasn't no thermostat on the tent wall, so I couldn't turn up the temperature. I couldn't. I just had to get closer to Geraldine. I had excuse. <laughs> All over again. All over again. So we, we had to get, that's the only way I had to get warm. Uh, but I was so grateful because I remember, uh, like uh, Brother Rob was saying, the, the forefathers and what they went, really went through. We really don't know how, how blessed we are and we can turn on the water and, and different things, and even though we, we, you know, we put up the tent and we, we, we kind of check it off, uh, but they still didn't have the electricity, the extension cord, huh? And they didn't have those things, and, and uh, so, but, but we there, and it, it just makes us uh, uh, closer, and I, I, I will say this, uh, to get to know one another is very, very important, and it's times like this that you do, it really is, it's times like this when you can share and sit down and and hopefully next year we wanted to go see the grandbaby, but hopefully next year we can just take off and just enjoy you all day long. And that would be a good thing uh, for all of us. So thank you because we were saying earlier, uh, I asked Yahweh, I didn't know what we was going to do Shakot this year. Uh, but if we let uh, him lead and guide us and put us uh, together, and uh, 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 it's something special. You know, many people say, well, he sent me here, he did this, he sent me over there. But it's special. Really is a special, and I uh, thank y'all for all of you, all each and every one of you, uh, uh, and so we we'll, we'll grow together, cry together, pain together, smile together, laugh together, and enjoy one another. Let the joy be there. Let's not be mean. No. Let's let's not be mean to one another. Let's find joy with one another. We we can do it if we put it in there, huh? Yeah. All right. Hey. Well, I really am thankful for Yahweh. I'm thankful for all that he's, he's done and how um, this is um, my second Sukkot. And it was a lot easier this time. And I, you know, really hope that we could have been off, but we weren't. But um, I wanted to do what we could. And I was really thankful that, I um, mean, I was excited. You know, I was able to sh share with some people at work. Um, during the day that I was camping, you know, at night, and they were thinking I was crazy, but that's okay, you know. So um, I was just really, really excited. Couldn't wait for Tony to get off work so that, you know, he could go ahead and eat and we could get on the road and get on to the tent. And although I thought the uh, tent was going to blow away on us because the wind was so hard, I was able to say thank you, Yahweh, um, I would not have been wandering around in the wilderness for 40 years because I would have gotten the message the first few times of complaining. And so I really, really hope and believe that I would not have had to go through no 40 years of that. So I'm thankful for that. I'm also thankful. <laughs> I'm thankful for the men here, Roy um, Gamiel, did I pronounce it right? And Gerald, when we... Um, got there and started getting the tent out, they immediately, you, we, you know, no one had to say, excuse me, can we get some help or not ask for no help at all and just put our tent up. But they came and, I mean, they just took over. And they put the tent up. And that really, really showed love, really showed love. And so I'm really grateful for that. And then I looked at um, the elders in this synagogue, um, Robert and his wife, and I said, if they can stay overnight in a tent and get up in the morning early also and go to work, I says, then, you know, far be it from me to get off work and just stay at home. And we did miss one night. Um, we wanted to take it day by day, but they were definitely my encouragement. And I also thank you for the game last night. I says, we have a year to study so that we can be better next year. 
And so I am thankful that Yahweh did allow us this year to be able to enjoy Sukkot with you all. I really thank you for that. I thank you for opening up your arms and welcoming us in. I thank you for that also because you could have just pushed us to the side. Who are they? I thank you for your patience with us. This isn't something that we grew up with. And um, it took a couple of years, a whole year, I was pretty much, well, both of us, it was just a broken state of Yahweh washing us and taking all of that that we grew up with, all of that that we had heard and had been taught. It was really, really hard. I ended up with migraines. I'm like, what is going on, Yahweh? You're teaching us. Um, if this be your word, I am not crazy, but I do not want to lose my mind. I said, so if this is your word, I know that you will keep us through it all, you know, and I knew that I was, um, we were being attacked. I knew that. And so I really thank Yahweh for bringing us through. And um, we did. We made it through. And so I'm thankful for that. And I'm happy for Yahweh enlightening us of his Torah and bringing us closer to him, a closer relationship with him. And as we day by day, taking it a day by day, um, to even get more and more of what he has in store for us. Thank you. Anybody else? Raise your hand. I'll give you my... Oh, there's this again. Um, I just want to say this, this Sukkot has been really uplifting to me. Uh, I, I was also sick, and I thought after Monday night, I was like, oh, boy. So I prayed, and the next day I was feeling better. I was able, able to um, eat and everything. But um, I've kind of lost count of which, which Sukkot it is for us. Um, I started it when he was, like, a baby. So, um, but anyway, I... Uh, I enjoyed the time out in the tent. Um, I wish I could have spent more time with you guys, but um, of course I'm going to school right now, so I'm like super busy trying to get papers done and everything. But um, it was really peaceful out there in the campsite. You know, I could just, I didn't have any trouble getting to sleep. And um, so... Anyway, I think it was a real blessing for me and my family, even though my husband wasn't there. It would have been more fun, but um, I think it was a real blessing this year. This is my 10th Sukkot. I was telling Rabbi, uh, I think it was maybe four, five Sukkot ago, Brother All. Oh, brother, all. <laughs> Sukkot was a fun because you get to watch people. And it's it's funny. One year it was their candle, Sister Ema. You can still go to that, that awning and still see the wax on the stand. <laughs> I remember that day because I just got back from OF2 and uh, I was walking out of the train and way over there all I saw was an explosion and I don't remember how I got from the latrine to where the explosion was but before they could all move I was there yeah. and it was PTSD I guess all that stuff but anyway <laughs> but brother all we we made fun of him for for a while <laughs> He, the year before, showed us, I kind of show people how to pay attention to the terrain so you don't get your tent all messed up. Yeah. So next year, he didn't listen, so his tent collapses with a whole bunch of water. There's water and his ants all in his tent. So we, we're, had, we had rain like we did the other night, and he was, where he put his tent, the actual tributary into the creek. Yeah. yeah. And so... <laughs> We tried to keep telling him to move his tent, but he wouldn't listen to us. So he 
he went ahead and slept in there for a little while, and the ants finally the ants ran him out, and so we finally listened to us. But what goes around comes around, so this year I got to enjoy the rain and the mud. <laughs> I got to. Uh, I don't know if you if anybody got Facebook and are friends with me. <laughs> so uh, there's mud inside of tents, outside of tents. There's mud everywhere. It was raining and just it was just mud gets. I don't. Yeah. Anyway, so so I got my chance time of the because the brigade leadership didn't pay attention to the terrain, and so they they put the tent in a little bowl, and so there you go. And it happened to be my office. The way they had it set up, there was the final where it ran off, and so we collected all the their leftover from the runoff. So this this should go. But I will say, uh, while we was at Fort Irwin, we didn't have all the the niceties and the fun things, so we pitched our tents tent out on the back porch, and um, so we we went a a uh, we kind of went against Lou White's testimony, and so we. Instead, we made birthday cakes for the master, and we just sing happy birthday to him. And, and then, but we slept out in the tent every night and stuff. So, but this night, this year, I, they got to, but I didn't get to spend a night out there. So, but it was good. It was, uh, I think, uh, I, I've learned a lot this year about myself. So, um, good to have you home. Yeah, yeah. So, and, uh, and unless the army promotes me and sends me somewhere else i think i'm here i think my wheels are down for good so so we'll see so anybody else who's the next victim well um i've enjoyed sukkot this year and it's really exciting for me, and I've I've been just feeling good, and I just like um, being in Sukkot, and I like camping out in all own tents and the and then having temple and having movies even when we didn't go to them because my mom was um sick and and um when she was sick me and my grandma were eating so, and that's all I want to say. Well, it's good to have every one of us in Sukkot. I know it. Oh, no. I just wanted to say that uh, I don't know, it's just my opinion, but from Yom Kippur through Simchat Torah, that this year the the Holy Spirit has just—I mean, it's been there every year, but this year, um, especially the Cataract service, just—I mean, is the Spirit was just so overwhelming, and this through this whole time this year, it just—I just don't know how to explain it, but. And, you know, thinking about Sukkot, the temporary dwellings, I've been thinking how, you know, our, our own body, you know, is a temporary dwelling while we're here. And uh, it's, it reminds me of that song. Maybe Rabbi lead us in that song. He knows it. Uh, this world is not my home. We're just a passing through. And uh, that's, the song keeps coming to mind when I think of uh, the Sukkot, you know. Anyway, I was just... Uh, some thoughts about I don't I remember the song it goes uh, let's see if I can remember oh Lord you know I have no friend like you 
If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what would I do? The angels beckon me to heaven's open shore, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what would I do? The angels beckon me to heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. That's it. Amen. Yeah, there you go. Amen. Let's all stand. Oh, Sister Mary, I'm sorry. Okay. I've invited to the prophecy seminar. Mm -hmm. One of them keeps asking me every few days. She's real excited about coming. So, do you have any idea when? Let me get to code under my belt, and I'll get a firm date for you. But it's soon. Honestly, we've been talking about it. Brother Gerald and I've been talking about it. I want to get a um, get a um, box of those Bibles ordered again, and and we'll try to uh, make this happen soon. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's all stand. Amen. Brother Timothy, would you lead us in a dismissal? Dolly, thank you for you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for what and who you are. Thank you for being you. Thank you for all that you do. And Father, I just thank you for being for you. Because without you, we could not do what we do. <coughs> we could do not what we do. Sukkot, Yom Kippur, or just any day. John 15 says that you are the vine, we are the branches. And without you, we can do nothing. So, had it not been for you, all this would be, what we do would just be empty air. And we'd be of mo all men most miserable. Thank you. Thank you so much for you and for this fellowship and for this, this time and season, for this harvest season. I pray. You'll search every one of us. You'll search us deep, and you'll you'll cleanse us and cover us in the blood. As we leave here, pray, Father, that we are not the same as we are when we started this feast, or even when we came tonight. That we can leave having done introspection as we should do every day, and that we should leave changed and closer to you. Thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy, but thank you more that we can live out of grace. Help us to be good stewards of your harvest. Help us to not waste your time with the precious souls around us who need you. Father, you're just waiting for us to come show them the way. Yehoshua, thank you for all that you are. Thank you for the leadership. Thank you for Rabbi Miller. And Ema Miller, and thank you for the, the other leadership, Deacon, Deacon Steve, and others. I pray for those who weren't here. Bless them. Bless who those who could have been here, whether near, for sickness or those backsliders as well. Pray, Father, you bring those back. Father, who have, who have uh, forsaken their fellowship for whatever reason, pray, Father, you put it back in their heart. And Father, you bring them back home. So that Father, they can get back on track. So we can get on with our getting on. In Yehoshua's name, I mean. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you back on, uh, let's see, Wednesday. And we'll end up our studies. I mean.